Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at Sabretooth. What makes Sabretooth so good? Or is he good? Let's take a look at his attributes. Now this is a rank 3 5 star Sabretooth. Alright, so you can take a look here. And his block proficiency is actually pretty good. That crit rating is not bad. Not bad at all. I like it. And that critical damage rating, enough said. All right, now let's take a look at his synergies. And he actually has some really nice synergies. I like them. So first up, Untamed Force. This is his synergy with Old Man Logan, who is about to get a rework. I cannot wait to see how he turns out. But with this synergy, he has a 20% chance for his first low kick on that uh, medium attack to be unblockable. And if the opponent activates an unstoppable effect as a result of that attack, it will expire instantly. So I was thinking Diablo, but I'm also thinking of a node that might trigger when he does that attack. So situationally, but still pretty good. That unblockable chance though, that's the one that I looked at and was thinking was very, very nice. Next up, Decimation. So this is the synergy he gets with the Magnetos or Scarlet Witch. He'll start the fight with a Fury buff, but that's only if he is fighting a mutant champion. And that will grant him 15% attack rating. That's a lot. Okay, so he basically does more damage against mutants. No Mercy, Killmonger, Black Panther Civil War, or OG Black Panther. When he inflicts a debuff, it reduces the opponent's ability accuracy by 100% for 0.7 seconds. My immediate thought when I read this was magic. So there is a mastery that we used to take trying to counter her limbo. So what we would do is we would parry and then push her past that bar of power, hoping that it would kick in, but it was not 100%. So if her signature level was high enough, she still had a chance, okay, to fire off her limbo. But with this, no chance. And that's just magic. It works with anyone's abilities, all right? So that is really nice. Parry, stun, all of that. Bleeds. All right. And finally, we have Nemesis, which is just a straight 6% attack. He gets that with Wolverine, who is not available yet as a 5-star. And I'm really hoping that they do release him as a 5-star. One of my favorites. Okay. Let's take a look at his abilities. Now, this Sabretooth is not Awakened. But his awakened ability only gives him passive regeneration when he is struck. If you're fighting, you don't want to get hit. You know, it would be a nice thing to have if you are getting hit, you know, but generally you don't want to get hit when you're fighting. So he does not need to be awakened. Now, if you are placing him on defense, then I would say, yes, he needs to be awakened to be a very good defender. You know, he can still be a, a defender, but that awakened ability will make him even more of a beast defender. All right. Now, we've got his passive. He is cold snap and frostbite immune. One of the few champions that is. Uh, he also has these persistent charges. Now, this is where Sabretooth shines. This is what makes Sabretooth so good. At the start of the fight, if Sabretooth has a persistent charge, he will consume one and reactivate all of his fury effects that were active at the end of his last fight as permanent passive fury effects. That is huge. And if he has zero persistent charges at the start of the fight, he will randomly receive between three and six persistent charges. That is 
is amazing okay so he is a ramp up champion all right now let's move on to his attacks every 10 hits on Sabretooth's combo meter or five hits on the opponent's combo meter he's going to gain a fury and that's an active fury against skill champions he will also inflict an armor break if he is attacking reducing the opponent's armor by 500 for 10 seconds so he's going to hit harder what's more uh than that is if he has that synergy that we spoke of earlier remember every debuff he will reduce their ability accuracy by 100 percent for 0.7 seconds that armor break counts and the Fury increases attack rating by 288 for five seconds, okay? Now, his passives, dodging back and allowing Sabretooth to idle for one second allows him to convert a temporary Fury buff into a permanent passive effect. And you want to do this for various reasons. One, you might be going up against a champion that nullifies uh, active buffs converting it to a passive can protect it so you want to do that and remember they carry over so you can dodge back and idle and we're going to see a little bit later that you have another way to convert that into a permanent passive effect all right now Sabretooth can convert a maximum of five permanent fury passives in a fight that's not total that's just in a particular fight okay so the most that you're going to increase per fight is five uh fury effects from the previous fight do not count towards this limitation so if you went into the fight already with five from the previous fight you will still be able to get five more if you started with 10 you will still be able to get five more if you started with 15 well now you've got a problem because as you can read there, Sabretooth cannot convert his passive fury effects while fighting if he has 15 or more permanent passive fury effects active. So that's sort of his limit, okay? So now here we go with the uh, special attacks. So all of his special attacks have a 60% chance to inflict a bleed. His special one, and I mentioned it earlier, that converts his temporary fury buffs into a permanent passive fury effect so it converts it and again it has a 60 percent chance to inflict a bleed all of them his special attack two will activate a fury effect and convert it to a passive and special attack three you will gain a fury buff for two seconds all right, so that is Sabretooth. He's a little ramp up type of a champion. And what you wanna do is you wanna build up those Fury passives. And when you have 15, you are insane. That is why Sabretooth is good. All right, so we're gonna get a little bit into gameplay and I'm gonna show you his animations, his attacks, and then we're gonna try to ramp him up and show you what he is like once he has ramped up to 15 permanent passive fury effects all right so i went into realm of legends and we have three fights but they were some very long fights so most of the rest of this video is sped up but here are the things that i wanted to mention and show you guys and you can actually use the uh, playback controls on youtube to slow the fights down if you needed to see something. But what I did in each fight was I built up his Furies. And you can see how going to the next fight, he carries over those Furies. And I also show once he reaches 15, you cannot get any more. I showed the two ways that you can convert uh, your Fury into a passive one is of course firing off the special one but the other is by dashing back and idling for a little bit 
That one is dangerous because when you do that, the computer tends to like to pounce on you. And I was able to get one off. Another time I tried it and actually got hit. But there's enough in the videos that you should be able to see how you need to play um, Sabretooth. How do I think he fits into the current meta? Honestly, not very well, uh, in my opinion. But if that is the only champion that you have that can meet certain challenges, he is a good one. But I've said before, I'm not a fan of ramp up champions. Now, this Sabretooth is only a rank three. When he is rank five, he does a lot more damage. I also am not uh, running deep wounds. When I run suicides, I don't max out deep wounds. He benefits from maxing out deep wounds considerably. So just a few things that you might want to take into consideration. Uh, but overall, he can definitely be a fun champ. If you like ramp up champions, he uh, is a decent one. Now, something that I learned when I was making this video so I took him into, uh, I believe it was act uh, five. And I think it was the life transfer uh, path. And I was building up his furies because I wanted to show you guys what his damage looked like, even at rank three with 15 furies. And what happened is that I lost all my passives before I got to 15. And I was like, wait, how did that happen? You know, so I went and reread his abilities and then I asked in my alliance and I could see what happened. So you remember in the description, he has a random number. If he starts out with no persistent charges, he has a random number that he will gain. Once those persistent charges are gone, he loses all of the passives. So not only is he a ramp up champion, but you're going to ramp up and lose and have to do it again. So he's okay, but I'm not his biggest fan. Let's just say that. But he still can be fun to play with and he can still solve certain problems. Now on defense, he needs to be awakened. That's uh, a lot of his uh, power because he's going to get hit on defense. So having those regens stack can be very, very helpful. But that's going to do it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found it informative. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Perhaps you have a different opinion of Sabretooth. Do you like him more than I do? Why? Or do you not like him? And also say why. Just let me know. No opinions are wrong. But take care, everyone. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. And you all have a blessed day.